The statements, beliefs, and opinions shared by the character Yon Legend is for entertainment purposes only. This is a thespian performing, not a real person. This should not be used to incriminate, pocket watch, or tell his pastor. The Yonkers show is based on his life, current events, and past experiences, except the parts that are made up. Enjoy the show. So I gotta be out there. I'm, not I'm trying that. to find a WNBA players. <laughs> they be rigging my parlays, though. I don't oh like God. that. I don't like that at all. We, that's inside of trading. If you give, me, never mind. We ain't gonna talk about <laughs> that on here. Hey, look. I'm here with my boy Van Styles, Fashion League Styles. This is one of the flyest guys I know. Uh, go ahead, plug your business before I get into uh, your accolades. My name is uh, Van Styles, uh, aka one of the Style Boys. There's only two. Um, out there in the world. Who the um, other style boy? Austin Styles, my brother, of course, you know, AS. PV along? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure, yeah. PV. Um, also, CEO and founder of Fashion League Styles. And what is Fashion League Styles for people that don't know? So, what Fashion League Styles is a platform for athletes, it's a platform for designers, and it's a f- platform for personal stylists that actually have had their hand in the NBA to the NFL to the WNBA in the sports um, community mm-hmm. and for the fa- for the um, athlete side of it is for the athletes to showcase their fashion so it's more it's going into their closet and being in a more in-depth into like how they get dressed or um, how their journey started from the time that they begin in the league to mm-hmm. basically to getting to the end of their career and also, even if they have a stylist, who is their stylist? Like, it's a platform for them, but it's also a platform for stylists such as myself because mm-hmm. there's a lot of stylists out there that don't get their credit for oh, being so what you're saying. So people be like, Jug and Fitz? Not Jug and Fitz. It's more of a situation like, like Cam Newton has said this because I was in the land when he said it. Um, he has said basically, uh, he was like, having a personal stylist is like having a ghostwriter. Not necessarily. I did see that. In a, yeah, not, I did see that. It's not It's not having a ghostwriter. It's, ne- it's basically saying like, okay, it's just saying having somebody to help you on what you're already doing. Mm-hmm. It's like having a trainer. It's like, okay, you already you already fit, but that mm-hmm. trainer going to give you the extra tool. To you to take you yeah, to the next you know, level of what the fly level. is. Exactly. It's, it's just basically somebody's just helping you along your way because you can have a trainer for so long and then after that guess what you got it yeah then you're on your own so that's what a personal stylist is also as well as basically to help you for so long and then boom you got you can kind of pick it up for yourself also if you're a high caliber athlete or high caliber celebrity moving at that at that magnitude you can't go to the mall by yourself you can't do certain things by yourself and i need people to also understand there's a difference between a personal shopper a personal stylist that's two different and there's also a difference between a wardrobe stylist there's like you know i have n- okay this is a teacher moment for me because yeah. i would assume that your personal shopper would give you the cloak like educate the people educate so me. a personal shopper is like this let's just say for instance you're at the level let's just say you're at the level where you cannot go to the mall by yourself right okay but the times that you do go to the mall you might get cool with somebody that work at Saks, or not even if you got cool with somebody working at Saks, somebody might DM you and be like, hey, look, I know that you have a hectic schedule. Mm-hmm. Um, just tell me what your size is and stuff like that, and I'll basically go shop for you and then basically charge your card, send it to your house. Mm-hmm. I'll take a percentage off of it. Once they do that, then you go through what you like and what you don't like, and then you send it back. Because you already know what your style is, and you're just picking through the stuff that you like. So you might just say, like, hey, I want the whole off-white collection. The personal shopper will go buy that, send it to you. You take you take a couple pieces. You send back what you don't want. Boom, it goes that way. A personal stylist can do both parts of it. A personal stylist can go buy the clothes for you, bring it, match it how it needs to go. Boom, that's what you wear for the night or whatever event that you got planning. So a personal stylist can do both parts of it. A personal shopper is is sometimes limited to that. And sometimes a personal shopper might have the opportunity to be like, hey, um, 
like if if you if like if I'm your personal shopper, okay, you like, hey, look, I don't got time to play together. Can you throw it real quick? Uh, and see it kind of saying. moves you yeah. into that into that yeah. next level. You know, it's what like I'm the natural progression of the exactly. It yeah. just moves you to that to that to that playing field. And then a wardrobe stylist would I need people to understand as well. A wardrobe stylist is somebody like let's just say for instance you're on a movie set, right? Mm -hmm. That wardrobe stylist they already have a wardrobe. That's pertaining to whatever movie. Oh, like so, so it's curated taking, for the yeah, character. You're just, you're just taking that yeah. and putting it together, mm -hmm. and then boom! Because when you look at a credit, it's gonna say wardrobe stylist. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna say a personal stylist. Ah, uh, so you saying. say you know what I'm saying? Like they mm -hmm. might say wardrobe makeup artist or something like that. That might be in a in a title credit, but there's a different. So essentially, it's like the it fits the capacity of what your lifestyle is slash obligations where you add with things more so than just one size fits all like a person might need a wardrobe stylist if they're in the entertainment industry going in, and you provide that level of service too or yeah. you, so like because like so what about the regular people because so like you regular, you've, you've okay. name dropped like i've seen your work because you're a friend of mine so i know the caliber of clientele you have but what about the like average based person would you recommend them use your services or so, this is what i say I, yeah like let's me like break it down for the people with me i'll work with regular folks don't okay regular folks let's just say regular stop the cow there's a there's a difference between regular folks just because you're not certified in a situation where you got a whole security team and you got to move all nah. deep or whatever like that, you got regular folks out here making millions of dollars that will pay for a personal stylist. I don't. I don't. You know have, what I'm saying? Like nah, I'm, had, I don't have millions of dollars. <laughs> I want the look to reflect. I, this is my friend. I, I his he is price point out look, of my budget. I right, nah. Look, I'm, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying like No, I'll just mess with you, bro. Yeah, yeah. I get what you said. Yeah, this like, that hey, this that fashion talk, saying, this high level look, this high level lifestyle. When it comes this is what I need people to understand. Okay. This is for all my viewers, these are for people that's okay. my fans, these are people that want to work with me, all of this. Mm -hmm. Do not slide in my DM asking me to personal style you and you just ain't got the bread there. My thing is Oh, they be trying to get the free work? They be trying to be like, Paying hey, an exposure. bro, like, 150. Like, I don't need the exposure. Like, if you see my resume of the people that I work with, mm -hmm. what I've been around, what yeah. I, I don't need no situation of like, oh, well, man, yeah, you know, my cousin playing in the NFL. Da, 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 da. Like, no. I'm, I've got. Which is, which is something. You know what I'm saying? It's something, you, yeah. but it's like, even if your cousin might have played in the league or in the league, Mm -hmm. I probably got people that's got more connects to him, to him than you actually do. Because if y'all was so close, that is a great level you know, of success. You know what I'm saying? That to where you you plug. Well, I understand. <laughs> but, I understand. Like, I have no idea. That's a different but life. To me, but but to, I understand. But to like I can regular, put two and two together. For like regular folks, like to style them, mm -hmm. I'll do it. Okay. Don't get me wrong. Like I've I've worked with I've remembered this one time. Like um, so when it comes to like prom, right? Yeah, that's, I was just about to, I was going like, run into that. That's like a that's yeah. like regular folk situation, right? Mm -hmm. But I take prom a little bit more sentimental to me. Mm -hmm. R.P. to my boy Chima. But that was okay. um, that was one of the persons that I first ever styled and realized that's what I wanted to do. So 2015, mm -hmm. like I was gonna come in the game of like designing clothes, like okay, um. My friends, like one of my boy Ricky, Ricky Tatum, one of my day one dudes from high school. Shout out to Ricky. Yeah, for sure, Rick. So he literally told me, he's like, bro, if you ever drop a line, you know, I'm a, I'm a support. support yeah. And I was like, damn, like, you know, maybe after high school, like, you know, I'll start my own clothing line. I was going to start that. And then I was helping, um, helping some friends of mine, like getting ready for prom during my time. Mm -hmm. And then. So you were in high school. Already helping, on, on. Already fashion. on fashion, yeah. styling your. That's amazing. So, like, I was already... That's a high level of talent right there. <laughs> like, I was already on it, doing, like, my fashion stuff in yeah. high school. So, when I graduated high school, my friend Chima, um, he hit me up one day. He was like, hey, bro, can you uh, dress me for prom? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm not even knowing the terminology, but, like, dressing, a.k.a. styling. Yeah, style. copy. Yeah. For those that don't know, dressing, styling, styling, put the fit together, synonymous with developing... And you should be sharing this information, I mean. No, you, but you, but no. essentially, that's the that's the the lingo we use to describe uh, putting together pieces of clothing as art. 
Yeah. So in my situation of doing it, like, so he's like, "Hey, can you stop me for prom?" I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "How many days? We, like, how many like weeks we got?" He's like, "We got one week." Oh, so you need time? Like, it's I like- need time. Like, so this is what I want people to understand. Like, okay. If you book me. Okay. Have the money first. Have the money first. Okay. But it's going to take time. This is not nothing that's like fly by overnight because it's like, what am I working with? You know what I'm saying? It's like when you go to a barber shop, right? Okay. Like, you know, the barber going to look at your head and figure out what it's working with to, you know, get you that line up. Do we got to add some enhancements? Stuff like that. See, a lot of people don't understand with this personal styling thing. Like, it's not just clothes. Okay. It's the time. It's the budget. It takes what what's your body structure with all of this stuff because like I can't just be like all right yeah I'm gonna throw you in this this type of outfit mm-hmm. and then it's like it doesn't go with your body oh type. I see it what you're saying you actually your... put the science into it of you, like the, yeah, the build it's of the more, person it's more than just clothes like I need people to understand like you see all of these people on Instagram running through fits right mm. no disrespect to any Instagrammer influence that's doing the fashion that's bullshit that's trash that's ass that's not really you're not really doing shit because you gotta think about it. Me, it takes me almost two hours to get dressed. The reason why, because it's from, I need to take almost a 30 minutes to 45 minute shower. Okay, cool, when I get out the shower, what shoes I'm gonna wear, What? but mostly I treat like- You start with the shoes first? It's not even, I start with oh, the shoes. I start with the Some shoes. People, you know, if you're a sneakerhead, you're gonna I start, start with the shoes. shoes. That's, yeah, that's, but me, that's me. It's, it's more like, it's off my mood as well, and it mm-hmm. also goes with like, before I hop in the shower, my clothes is laid out, like this is the first day back to school. Word. That's how it is. Word. Okay. Especially like in special like if it's a date night, oh for sure. Like you gotta boom, be, boom. I feel that. And depending on the outfit that I'm wearing, I match my cologne to my outfit. Like that's different. It, it's a lot of steps that goes into me just being fresh the way I am. Like me right now, I'm just chilling. I'm doing this interview. You my partner. I'm doing off the love. That's just chilling, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so you feel me? Like it's just on some chill stuff. But when it comes to really like stepping out and I gotta do it, like I'll body people that come to this, like that's what I'm saying. <laughs> talk that talk. Like I'll body people. I too like that. I like it. And like on let them the, know. And like with the so- body bag. <laughs> with the Zip social- them up. <laughs> no more fashion for you. With the social Hush. media, with the social media <laughs> stuff, like to me is because it's like uh-huh. it takes time to put on a fit. Copy. It's no way that you're telling me. You doing four to five looks in one video. Like, I know it takes time to edit, do all of that. Mm-hmm. But you're running through fits that you know good and well if you really took your time on. You know you know when you put on that right outfit, you're like, damn, I put everything from the accessories to the hat to the shoes. Boom. It took some time to do that. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Compared to- throwing, First day of school. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Compared I, I to remember. Because you got to think about half of them outfits that people run through. Damn, maybe if it just needed one chain. Damn, maybe if it might have need two more rings. Mm-hmm. Shit, maybe if that hat. You know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. It's more like you take your time to invest into it to make it. So essentially, every time you step out, it's curated. Yeah, it's it's just down to a science of it. I mean, it's I, down. And I then, feel you. I'm not and even like. And I'm I mean, in your world with this. And this and this is also for the people that want to be stylists out there as well. When you have a client, this is just free game. If you have a client, do not dress your client like you address yourselves. I made that mistake coming into the game. You okay. know, I'm just thinking like, yeah, shit, I'm a fly dude individually. Shit, I can put the nigga in the same shit as I'm wearing. Mm. No, I can't because your skin tone is different than me. Your height is different than me. Your, you know, you got a beard. I got one too if I grow it out. But like yeah. every little thing plays a for, uh, plays into the, like the into style. Into what goes into So you got to really like when... As a personal stylist, like people don't understand, like every one of my clients that I've ever worked with, I know them on a personal level. Shit, some I might know the last yeah, girl you yeah. talked to. That's on a personal level. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Well, let me break it down. <laughs> let me break it down. In the last too. couple episodes, you took me to a place. I'm just like, look, man, look. this dude know me. Look, like look. the reason why I'm saying. Copy. <laughs> to the personal level is because when I go shopping uh-huh. or I'm styling you, I want to basically become you. Mm. Okay. So it's like I'm just taking another form of you. Are you sure you want people to know this? Because I feel like then, this the proprietary reason, then, information. The reason why I say I would I like then the reason why I say pe- to people to get this because it's also a free game as well as because 
when you're coming a personal stylist, you got to separate your fashion from, to become their fashion. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. So it's like you so you want to you want to know them like even shit like with most clients like I like to hang out with my clients at least a day or half a day. Hmm. The That's reason a why different level of <coughs> sorry for coughing though, but it's all good. Yeah, the reason why is because. I want to know like what type of music you're into. I want to know all of these different things because that's a good point. It plays a part to when it's time for me to sit down, lock in, and start pulling fits because mm -hmm. now it can go in a situation where shit, you might be like, damn, my favorite artist might be J Cole. Oh shit, I might research some shit J Cole might wear. I might entwine it into something that you might oh, wear. Oh, I get you. And then you. when I put the fit together, you're like, oh shit. At the same time, I'm going to take you out of your comfort zone because you so used to wearing this type of thing, mm -hmm. but I'm going to bring something to a whole different game and flip it to where it's like shit. Like, not too long ago, like, I'm not even going to put too much details because, you know, I just locked in a deal that's coming up that's coming up this season, so a lot of people going to be... I'm not pocket-watching. You know, it's going to be some, It's a major situation that happened, but, but congrats. you know, I started one of his friends, mm -hmm. and, you know, from how he came... Until when I styled him, he's like, damn, like, you know, I ain't never thought about yeah, doing this, yeah, yeah. but the confident level is there. Right. Like, it's, it's a different feeling. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like with me, as far as like, even when I dress up or stuff like that, when I step out, I always feel like my fit is on the 10. Like, hmm. I know, like, I do, I do tester outfits with people. A lot of people don't know what a tester outfit is. Educate. So... In my world, I do a tester outfit. Like, let's just say, for instance, you might be like, hey, Van, I'm going to, I'm about to go to this little spot or whatever like that. I'm like, cool. So I might have been working on a fit for like two, three months. And I'm like, this might be a perfect time like to just test it. So what I'll do, I'll put the fit together. I know I might be missing some pieces, but I'm just testing this bitch. I'll test it. I'll go out. If somebody be like, bro, I like your style. Boom. I know. Shit. I'm going back oh, to the drawing board. Oh, okay. I'm going back you to put, the You put a lot into this. I... I go back to the drawing board. Uh -huh. I'm like, okay, shit, this tester fit works. Mm -hmm. Shit, okay, I know where I need to fix on this outfit. It ain't ever getting posted yet. Mm. When you know that I've completely had the outfit and it's just ran off, yeah. is when I get my photographer involved and you see it on Instagram. So you that's yeah. when you know. So like uh, half of the fits that you see on my page, mm -hmm. I've been working on them for like two, three months. They're like albums to me. So when that's you a, see that's a good that's a good way to put it. So when you I see, see that when you see my outfits and you be like, damn, like Van Snap like that, it's because that outfit ain't just something that I just you threw put on. time into it. It's just that by when the world sees it, you've already like assessed it and started another project. Exactly. So it's like that's already done. Like even with accessories, like now you see everybody rocking pearls, right? Speaking of accessories, I'm cutting you off. I called him the other day. And <laughs> he's laughing because he know why. I called him to about, set up this I interview. did put them all just for this today. Bro, yeah, I was going to bring them up. So, I I got LASIK a couple months ago this year. So, now I have to wear shades because my eyes are sensitive to light and I just want to protect my vision. I did not deserve her. This man called me like, bro, like, what you doing? We're going to get on the pod. And he's like, yeah, I got you. But, man, I cannot find my Prada shades. I just got these Prada shades. <laughs> I'm like, I did not ask about your Prada shades. But I'm happy that you had, and, and they all nice Prada shades, so yeah. But I, I just had to say, man, your friends, they your friends, but they definitely going to encourage you to upgrade because I don't own Prada shades, and now I feel like I, I have to get some Prada shades or something. You know, because you got you to gotta be proud of yourself. I'm pr proud you got to be proud of yourself. Proud of yourself. You got to be proud of yourself. Proud of yourself. I feel that because I, I was not proud. <laughs> I, I feel like there isn't some intention behind that, and hopefully it's not to make your friends feel broke. <laughs> You're broke! I, I was like, good Lord. I didn't know Prada made shades. I thought it was purses and shoes. Look, no, nah, they make a lot of stuff. Like, every, <laughs> listen, every, every, man, every brand is iconic for things that they're not even known for. I feel like the Prada shoes are what people were talking about a lot, nah. but it's not the shoe. Educate. It's so, like, okay, so like. Accessories. Let's let's. So, go. like, I'll say, like, okay, like, I'll say this. Like, some people may know and some people may not know, like, Louis Vuitton, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Like, Louis Vuitton is known for their trunks. Like, that's what they started yeah, yeah. From, from trunks. Tyler, you know the creator, was posting it. It's like they started from trunks. And um, I'm trying to think, um, like, <clears throat> like Coach, because I used to work for Coach for a little minute. Um. Mm. Coach is known for like their leather goods. Like they've always been known for the leather. 
before like the purses and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Like even like everything, like even if you see like women's like like heels, right? Okay. Men's wore heels first. And I don't know, like yeah, I know what you're talking you about. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like I know what you're talking about platform things. shoes, like Prince was rocking them things. All of these things that like that literally that a lot of brands have have and that they're iconic for, they started with something else original before that. Hmm. But to the whole accessory thing, like I feel people like don't be in a rush to like I just say this for anybody that's in the fashion game or anything. Don't be in a rush to buy like your first iced out chain. Don't be in a rush to buy your first Rolex. Don't be in a rush for none of those big big accessory pieces. Start off small, mm -hmm. work your way up until you can get to it. Boom. And like I even tell people like even when it comes to chains, I tell people all the time like don't be the person that literally sits there and be like, "Okay, like I want my iced out chain." Whoop de whoop whoop. Mm -hmm. Don't just go out there and be like, "Oh yeah, like I'm gonna just I'm going to just literally go fake it until I make it. Like, I really hate seeing people wearing fake chains. Like, you know what's... Like, this is how I can... I, I, it's so funny to me because I, this is how I can... If you have... Yeah. Like, okay. if you have an accessories, right? Okay. And you have gold, right? Okay. Gold, if you have fake gold, it turns green, right? With, yeah, the with, green. Yeah. Okay, with white, it really don't change too much. And now they got this whole thing what's called Mosinite Diamonds, where basically it's Mosinite Labs and then diamonds which is my, yeah my i'm familiar diamond. with that like i'm a nerd so like we so my, fabrication of those materials so my thing is is like why like i i get it the fake it till you make it part like i get that like okay. i'd rather just wear a real ass chain and then fake it like he just got hella bread cool compared to you wearing a fake chain and then you know it's going to get it on a diamond tester but luckily they got a new machine now that you can put it in a machine that it'll literally read if it's a lab or diamond and it'll tell you. And then they got new diamond testers out now that tell you if it's mosinite or not. So my thing is hustle, work hard, go find a jeweler that'll work with your budget. I know two jewelers. I got um Oh, shout out to my jeweler, Robichaud Jewelers. Three Rashad, jewelers. They keep me iced a, out. I could plug my two. I got iced out by Mike. That's one of my classmates. <laughs> and I got diamonds by Coop. That's my family. They they provide quality real jewelry. It's just that they cost for quality real. Exactly. And, uh, <laughs> but my thing is, it's like that, that like when it comes to jewelry, like I'll, I'll put that on layaway. Like I'll work hard and like, you know. Oh, man, okay, cool. I'll do that. You know what I'm saying? I be saying? feeling like the rappers be pulling up. And I'm saying rappers, athletes, they just. No, sure. they have no, 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 no. With the rappers and stuff like that, mm -hmm. like being on the personal stylist side, like mm -hmm. with some rappers get to the point where, let's just say, for instance, you're a rapper, right? Mm -hmm. You have an album that's coming out. Or, your album or, will pay for that chain. Not ah, your money the promo it. money will pay for the chain. It's coming out the budget. Is this I, is this pocket watch? I'm not pocket it's watch. Not, I don't not, want a pocket it's watch. It's not even alert. pocket watch. It. It's just saying like that's what happens. Like that's a secret before, behind it. Mm. Or even like when the, people get drafted, right? You get all of these guys. It's like now with the draft. Like back then, it wasn't like this. It was mm. maybe like cars and stuff. Now it's like you go to the league before dudes even get to the league. They got jewelry. Ah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> but some of it comes from. It might be an up and coming jeweler. Hey, look, I'll make this custom chain for you. You rock it. Just give Put me it on the back, back end. end. Mm. Or it might be a situation that's of, like off the gangster movies. Or it might be an, or it might be in a situation where it's just like, hey, look, some agents or whatever might just flunk them. Hey, here's like fifty thousand. They might take half of that fifty. Mm -hmm. Shit. But they follow the rules though, because I know you work with clients that are getting drafted, and we don't want any. So why like, with the NIL? Yeah. Well, with the NIL is different now. Oh in the, yeah, NIL is like free range for everybody. You're right, because you don't necessarily got to disclose if you a if you. We don't. If, the only thing that you're disclosing is how much, how much you're making. You making. Wow. Because you got old girl that played for LSU. She just cleared three point one million. Sweet Christmas. You see what I'm saying? I ain't get none of my family athletic genes. I hate it. I got relatives that All play. I'm just saying like this. Bruh. If I would have actually like paid attention to school and hooped and really just locked in on hooping. You was one it. of the ones too. And look, if I would have right. if I would have made it to the league, you think right now would be like who the best dressed? I'll hit I'll kill it. I'll kill it. That hurt my soul, man. I, asked I just gotta say, I'm gonna just put this out. So even dudes that's in the league, I just better than half the dudes that's in the NBA or NFL for a fact. I just know it. So so you feel like, okay, so sweat you flying in Swaggy P because his name is Swaggy P. Yes. 
Okay, hey. But you gotta understand. This okay. is what, this is what I want people. I talk, to, talk. You supposed to listen. Hey. This is what I want people to You're understand. Supposed as to be well the best. Too. You gotta think about it. All right. People bag had to get right for people to dress the way they wanted to dress. Oh, so you? Cause like it's not even pocket watch. It's just like it's more of a situation. No, nah, like, I don't think that's pocket watch. You gotta I think, think about, that's the level. Let's just field. let's just let's just say for instance, like when you come in the league, right? Mm-hmm. You might some people bag might be one point two mil. Some people bag might be thirteen something. Mm-hmm. When that money get there, then people want to. You always hear. You even hear with women's too. Girls will tell you, man, shit, you know. You know, if my man come through, he get me right. Shit, you know, I might get a little different. You, it changes. Oh, I see what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? So, like the so it's like world. when you're in the league, it's like I've been around. Like I, I wouldn't say I'm in the league, but I say I. But it's league. fashion league styles. You're in the league of your own. I, I'm in my league of my own. Mm-hmm. But just being around people that's been in the league and being around league dudes, mm-hmm. like when the money when the money comes. The style change. I wouldn't say they change. The, the style, style change. change. Yeah. Because, okay. like, the situation that I got now, I'm about to do something that's so crazy that ain't been done that's coming up this season. It's going to be totally game changing. Okay. To just how things is about to be looked as far as a certain position, mm-hmm. um, nationality, mm-hmm. and also the way that people perceive fashion. Like, this year is about to be where I make my mark on just how things is going to be looked as far as fashion. So, you're not a one-man show. You have a team. Big team. A big team. Big team. team, Uh, How does, without disclosing your business model for it, like in Mm -hmm. the proprietary stuff, how do you incorporate the team into what you do with your brand? Because the production that y'all do is amazing. Uh, you have a great uh, personality that is doing the camera work, and then also with the the woman that I saw doing the interviews and stuff Raquel. like. You know. Raquel. Raquel. Okay, yeah. yeah. Her shout out to her. She does great. How does that flow? Because that's like a so, dope. My thing like, is. Like explain your team model. So I just feel like it's it, one. It's all God. So everything Amen. I do, it goes to God too. Um since my mom passed Angel up there so it's also them two Mm -hmm. Uh, but basically the team came together like in pieces okay so it's like it was like all a puzzle so basically I'll say so the team is considered uh, my photographer which is Luda aka Luda the Shooter Um, my videographer guy head over Fashion League Styles uh, videographer uh, videography like editing and stuff like that Um, Mm -hmm. His name is Pac, to well Shakur, but we call him Pac. Oh, okay. So yeah, a- AKA Mr. Focus. Then we got Raquel. I call her AKA the writer Raquel, cause that girl is pressure. Like when I talk about, mm-hmm. far as you know, when it comes to getting certain things that we need to be done, mm-hmm. it gets done. She does that, and then um, which I have my brother Kenny, which he's a NBA skills trainer. Oh, okay. But he's like he's head of our intel. So as far as like with just like NBA athletes. Oh, uh, I see. So you're he's saying. just more just like okay, that's a good person to have on a platform. That's not that person. This is like the Avengers of or the Justice League of okay. fashion. You know what I'm saying? And you then, have a you have a full a full team. And why? Then, that's okay. And then I have um, then I have my boy David, which David is uh he's. Like David's here, but David he works he works with uh, Foot Locker, so like he's more of just like. By the way, he doesn't give us free shooters nothing. He he's not that. Type. Oh, I don't. I don't. Look, I, I don't, just you know I want to give my boy David like. I have, oh, we heard what Van said. Nah, nah. But our I, boy I, David I, is more. <laughs> he's more of like. Um, that got to be irritating. What? Like for you to have the level of interaction and success that you do, people mm-hmm. assuming that that comes with freebies. Let me just say this. Or a handout. Let me just say and my, this. I got too much pride to add so, to, to have my hand out for stuff like that. So, so I'm going to say this. I'm going to say David Roll. David Roll is basically, he's like he's like our, our sneaker intel. Because okay. like when it comes to certain information we need to know about shoes or whatever, mm-hmm. or just certain events that's going around in the city that we kind of need to know about, mm-hmm. he got our way to get in there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my best friend slash brother, Austin Styles, um, 
we're born on the same day, lived across the street from each other. Wow, that's interesting. So, yeah, his mama called my mama, girl, I'm pregnant. Me it's too. a small world. Yeah, so because him and I was like, that's yeah. how we met back yeah. uh, at the bachelor weekend for my lawn brother. Yeah, so and we're, then, yeah, we're, be- we, yeah. we're born on the same day, lived across the street from each other. We've been best friends for 27 years. So it's that's just, a dope recipe right there. Yeah, so mm. like literally, he's just, I'm. I'm born in the afternoon. He's born in the morning, but he's literally like the big brother in the sense. Oh, okay, that's respectable. So yeah, a lot of people do not have like the maturity to understand that it's okay to have a big bro. Yeah, like something. he, he, oh, like we're the same age. Yeah, but, but just no, but just more so. But like, just he always played that role as yeah, like, a big brother. Like even or, like growing up as a kid, like we used to have a dude on our street, like anybody that's gonna stick up for, like he gonna fight that dude. Like, I don't, I, he's the, Aaron's that I'm type, not gonna incriminate. Yeah, like he's his reputation, dude, but, but absolutely. and also like this was also the dude that taught me how to ride my bike without training wheels anymore. Live, that's like, what we was up, riding man. one day. He's, like, he's always been a very. Um, I speak very level. Yeah, 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 I, I can speak see very that. I can highly see that. of him, and I speak very highly of everybody that's on my team. Like Copy. you know what I'm saying. So, um, but none of this stuff that I do is free. Like. Um, I, I'm just I'm just letting you know this now. I hope not. Um, you know, I, I have to pay certain people on my staff. Yeah. Um, also on top of that, you know, like I work a nine to five, still trying to get it still into my mm. into this thing, like takes off to the level that it's gonna take off to. Mm-hmm. Um right now. So don't do me like Drake. But like I want the interview still. I feel like we gotta work this out in perpetuity to where that I get like a no, you, you on the cuff negotiation. <laughs> hey, listen, people in the I'm, business world. I'm just saying, like we do negotiations as businesses. My, it's on camera now. So <laughs> when when this man is the stylist for all the top athletes, I need at least an interview at least once a year, no, or maybe once every no, other year, can, like album can, deals. I'll or make something. I'll make sure you get your I, exclusive. The word is bomb. I make sure I give you your <laughs> exclusive. You know, for sure. Um, okay, but that's building, begging. But, but building the um. Fashion League Styles came to me in a in a dream. Okay. Like literally, probably I always say like three years ago, but it's been it's been years since then. So like post pandemic, like before pandemic. Oh okay. Like Got it's you. been pa- before post pandemic. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember when I thought about it. Um, shout out to my big bro Daniel House that plays for the uh, Philadelphia 76ers. Um, I told him about it, and he was like, "Bro, you should really do that. Like, you mm-hmm. should definitely do that." So, and I was like, all right, bet. And he was my first, he was the first person I, I interviewed for Fashion League Styles. Like, oh, okay. Copy. Yeah. He was in a situation where um, he had just got, he had just signed a big contract the year that we came back from Summer League. And, like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people had their hand out for, like, money and stuff when he signed his big major contract. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, one of those. But it was yeah. more just like, like, I'm pretty sure I could have been, like, house, like, let me get a couple thousand, whatever like that. But I wasn't, I didn't want that situation. I wanted more just, hey, can you be a person to be on my platform? Yeah. And I'll get everything else my own. Like, just that's be, mat- just that's be, very just be, mature. Just be the person to just, you know, like, because other athletes respected him. Like, we was in Vegas one year, and I'm mm. talking about people that you wouldn't even think you knew, like, I'm talking about, like, the first starting five dudes off the bench. Like, they all know house. But this is from, like, AU days and stuff like this. Oh, I get you. Like, he has yeah, the great, roots he, run yeah, deep with the – yeah, a, I it, can see If that. you're in the basketball community, it runs deep. Mm. But he's very respected in the league. Mm-hmm. So, um, when a couple of athletes seen, like, I had him on the platform, mm-hmm. it just started rolling. That is just more like the natural yeah. – like, clearly he has the equity with him. Yeah. So, he's – It's like, like, I didn't need the money to start it up. Like, the way – I started up Fashion League Styles with $500. I basically took my Yeezy Moon Rocks to Sneaker Summit, which Sneaker Summit is in Houston, by the way. Um, took it to Sneaker Summit mm-hmm. and basically sold my Moon Rocks at the time. Moon Rocks, I could have easily got a cool 1500 for it. Yeah, I really needed to do my first video, which is $500. So I was going around Sneaker Summit, nobody mm-hmm. really was biting, and I was like, hey, bro, like, one dude came up to me and I was like, bro, I'll give him to you 500 cash. If you give it to me 500 right now, boom, hmm. you got him. I got that 500, took took it, and boom. 
and pay for the first wow. video. So do you have a plan to get those shoes back? Like, no, those not shoes that I really want back in my collection. Oh man, I feel like it was just. One I of, feel like that's like a. It's one of the moments. Like that's no. a piece. I might have to gift that to you on some narwhar stuff. Yeah, that, yeah, that'd like, be lit. But yeah, that's more, hold me to that. Okay, <laughs> that'd be moon, what I. Yeah, the moon rocks. Like we go, we go do if, I think I think if I ever get those shoes back, I'll probably cry because like. Yeah, like, yeah, it's just, it's a sentimental situation. Absolutely. But yeah, Fashion League Styles was basically dream turned into reality. Mm -hmm. Created the logo myself, got it animated, done myself. Yeah. Um, all of that stuff. I just already like I already had the photographer. Like I don't care what nobody says. Like my photographer is one of the best in Houston. Talk like that talk. He's that dude. Like it's a lot of people that's literally like. He started a lot of stuff. He started a lot of waves in Houston as mm -hmm. far as the photography. A lot of people like, like a, a lot of photography work that you see that comes from Houston. Like mm -hmm. a lot of his editing and stuff all came from this man. Hmm. So That's he's kind of like one of the pioneers of, of saying how photography really just took over in Houston. Like he's one of them founding fathers. Like I have. Oh, to that's say. dope. That's. Um, I might have to introduce him to my younger. So I have a brother. He's in the photography and fashion as well. He's a, he did a clothing design. Uh, he has a, a brand that he started with some of his friends and just like in this conversation that's like a great opportunity for him to learn something from you yeah and then just like right that's versus. organic versus see my thing is that, now like even having fashion league styles which i'm mad this year we won't do it but i know for sure we're gonna do it um mm -hmm. next year coming up but i want to do something where i'm giving back to the community as far mm -hmm. as on the fashion side of it oh, um cool. if anybody ever like if you start paying attention now mm -hmm. to a lot of like my instagrams and posts and stuff like if you ever see me out of town or every like any see me do you out of town a lot brother no when i do you. go out of town when i do go out of town or do and i do like an insta story or whatever just mm -hmm. always pay attention to the hat because i'm always gonna rep the city of houston hmm. like i might not be a person that love houston but i put houston on the map for the fashion because i want people to understand it come from the south the like, South got something to say. You feel me? Like, when you think of South and you think of Van Styles, I put the style in the South so that I want people to understand, like, fashion just doesn't come from New York. Fashion doesn't come from all of those different places because if you think about it being black and being from, like, going back to the ancestor times as even though, you know, we got taken from Africa. Mm -hmm. Then we migrated to the South before, you know, we knew about yeah, taking freedom. Yeah. But you got to think about the one thing that's known in the South is everybody used to say, like, back then, oh, you look your Sunday best. Copy, yeah. And then slavery all the yeah, time that you that was on the time you dress up was on Sunday. History lesson. <laughs> don't just learn about black history in February. Facts. Like, if so, you don't know this stuff, if that was news to you. <laughs> you should know that. Do some research. Like, that is very pivotal. And I'm glad you brought that up because yeah. that is important, bro. So, a lot of people do not and then know. And even if you think about it too, like during slavery times too, like it has they had stylists. Oh yeah, in you, a sense. You in a sense because you know you either dress the master or whatever. But in this day and age, I don't look at it as slavery. I just look at it as more of just doing something that was already instilled in us as a culture, as far as fashion. Like I get upset with it sometimes, a little bit emotional because the white culture definitely take a lot of stuff that we do mm -hmm. and put it at a high at a high level but mm. like you got to think about it women's now white women's with the braids and everything our culture started it first our culture started a lot of this a lot of the trends that you see now and then all of a sudden it gets put in the world and everybody want to be like oh it? like no we started everything from mm -hmm. the fashion to the jewelries to the shoes to everything like this is us yeah. this will set us different even for for when they get to the point where you know, they want to get upset with us because we don't really speak a proper type of word, but mm -hmm. our lingo as our style, everything, it's a reason why I call myself Van Styles because every little thing about everything him, about you it's is, a style. Hmm. It's, it's not just, oh, oh, he's just fashionable. No, it's a style from the way I talk to my gap that's in between my teeth to just how I always wear shades. Like, this is like my, this is like my Clark Kent type situation. Like, this is my cape. Anytime Word. you see Van Styles, you gonna see me wear a pair of frames. Like that's how you gonna know me. That's a different way to think about it. I I noticed it, but it wasn't it wasn't synonymous to the persona of who you are. It's just like that's the homie he got. Like, like I said, because I really want people to understand. Like with Van, what you I'll say this year, y'all gonna see it a lot. But 
I want people to understand like Van Styles is not just it's not just a fashion thing. I'm not just out here just trying to be a gimmick. I'm not just out here just looking fly. Like I want you to learn through what I'm teaching you through fashion. Mm. Because even when you see me post, I could be a and I could be a gatekeeper, which I'm not. Mm -hmm. Which anytime you see me post something on Instagram, what happens? I tag everything that where I buy. Yeah, that is true. I, because really, that that I I can attest to that. Because when I get tired yeah. of people sliding in my DMs, hey, <laughs> like I I remember way back then, people used to slide in my DMs. Hey, where you get that from, bro? Go back to the just click the picture. It's a tag. Mm -hmm. I'm showing you if you like that shirt so much. Ooh, go buy it. I'm go buy it. I don't care if you got the same shirt as me. Mm -hmm. I just know I'm gonna rock it better. But I okay. don't care if you got it. Yeah. I'm offended because earlier he said he had his shirt like this. <laughs> like I tried to be fly today, like oh, like Lil Wayne in 07. Oh my god! And he was like, "I got that, but better." And I'm like, "Okay." It's I'm gonna just, 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 just say it like this: like when it comes to fashion, I can be humble, bro. Like, like I'm, I'm, a, I'm good. I'm a, I can be humble too. I but when to it, be fly. I've got I tried to, to the coordinate point, a little. Something. Look, I got to the point in my life where I've realized. And this is not even to be on some name dropping stuff, or this is not even to toot my own horn. But I've got to the point where I'm tired of being humble. I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of people taking mm -hmm. my fashion or what I do as for a game. Mm -hmm. My mom passed, so I don't give a. F mm -hmm. You gonna feel me through my fashion, and you gonna feel me how I talk. It might not sound. It might not make sense to you. But the way, like me, I'm not, I'm not, like people know, people that really know me know, like I'm not really good with words. I don't really put things together how they need to mm -hmm. be. Um, but when it comes to my fashion, like I feel like that, that's the best way. Like this is the only thing I have. Like I didn't go to college. Like I lived through, I lived through college through my friends. Really? I didn't even know that. I yeah. read PV so hard because my mom and my friends, everybody went to PV. Wow. So I rock Prairie View heavy. But you don't, but the. Never went to school. Like That's I went to, so I went to Long Star for like a year, two years. Never went to school. But like I, I, I appreciate the HBC so much. I mess with Preview so much because mm -hmm. that's that's rooted into me. That's from my. I mom. see what you're saying. Yeah. So like. That's, yeah. So PV is always will be my school. Like I yeah. know about the cafeteria. I know about air, like. Yeah. I know, word. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. even though. I and I'm glad there. you got that experience. Yeah. Like, so I, don't I got to gay. have I got to have my college experience. Yeah. You, like it was it so was, cool. It was your own unique way. I say this is so funny because okay. Aaron and my boy David, which y'all in the same yeah. frat together. Yeah. So they had they were CSA they uh C C C A C A C A So you know I I look I knew what it was yeah, though. Like, what is, what is, yeah, 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 I know what yeah. the C A was. Look, Facts. Hey, look. <laughs> So the crazy thing is, uh -huh. they were CAs. So I think I want to say, Air, yeah, Air was a CA. They had a room that was empty because no, yeah. nobody, nobody had booked. It. Allegedly, allegedly, you know, allegedly. allegedly. But guess what? They was like, we gonna have to clip that. <laughs> Door. We gonna clip that look, up for I the have, people. Look, yeah, I have yeah. my stuff there. Yeah. Like, I, we just we just giving some content. Look, you know, I listen. I used to draw the PV. I have my own word, spot. Word, word, word. You feel me? Like I had a true PV experience. You, yeah, I, mean, I just hey. never went to the class. And there's some people that was people that never went to class. So technically, you you, was the, you know what I'm saying? You my was tuition that. was. Hey, for the some people, some people got PV degrees and MSc, brother, look, and ain't nothing wrong look, with that. But I'm just saying, you left with something tangible. Look, you got a business. But what I have to say is, What's me up? being at Preview, I wasn't one of them dudes that was like, "Oh, I'm gonna go up here to party." I can tell you now, anybody at PV, they'll be like, "Go to this school." But Van made some networking connections. Yeah, I about because I, I didn't see. I was at the parties. I didn't see. I didn't meet you until. Cause you had been around PV. I remember seeing you one time at a function. I I think you was kicking with Aaron, but like, I was always when I was yeah there, I, you was, I, you I was wanted kicking to network. With, yeah, with you were networking. I was gonna say I didn't I didn't formally meet you until it was at David's thing bachelor weekend. Yeah, yeah that was so it. like I went there and I networked. And I'm like, if I'm around all these black people, that's going to be some in major corporations someday. Mm -hmm. Why should I? I should have their information. Yeah, I should be following them on Instagram. So it's like, and I will say that about you, you are not you are not funny with the social media interaction. Yeah. Some people, are, but in the industry you in, some people are very. And this is I'm my gonna say perception. this: closed mouth don't get fed. Yeah, I, and two, this is I just want to give this to everybody too. Okay, 
if you networking, because I just learned this just recently. I was always so good at networking with people, right? Mm -hmm. But I never was so good at always following back up with my networking. Ah, I get what you're saying. So what That's, I'm saying is, close the, so what I'm saying it. is, if you out there networking, if you get somebody number, if you get mm -hmm. somebody Instagram, if it's not every other week, but before the months go out, tap in with them, be like, hey, how you doing? Yeah. What's good? Woo. Because y'all might be in the same state. Like my boy Chris Smooth, like we was in Vegas in a situation I had in Vegas, and he was like, no, nah, he from Miami. Okay, okay. But he's an yeah. agent. Okay. And we was uh we was in in uh, in Vegas and some situation happened. He seen me and he was like, Hey Van, like how many people you got with me? I'm like, I got like six people with me. Mm -hmm. All right, I got you. Cool. Get all my six people in. But you but this comes after seeing this man not one, two. This is seeing him for like the last five, six years and I always go to Vegas. So Oh, you built up the the equity with the, the person in the relationship. Know, in situation. That's important. Because That's you, important. you never know, like I'm in a situation where I've I can cash it's it's like I can cash in favors, but it's mm. like I only gotta cash in them when I need it. You know what I'm talking about? I really need it. If like if I'm in a relationship and I got a girl and I'm like, okay, cool, I'm cash. Do I can move. <laughs> I can move. You know, for sure, get my for little sure. flex real fast. That's a, that's a power play relationship. But, um, other okay. than that, literally, like I don't really too much too much use it until I have to. Mm -hmm. But also like. I tell people all the time, like, all the people that got, like, the crazy numbers on social medias and followers like that, mm -hmm. you'd be surprised. The person that's with the less numbers of followers probably is connected. Got to more them. connections. Man. Past, like, you got to look at, like, you got to look at some of them people, like, pictures and stuff and look past just the, oh, what they doing in them. Just, like, mm -hmm. who's re who's liking them? Who's interacting with them? Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I get what you're saying. Like, you could be a person with, like, maybe, let's say, before the two blue or three thousand. Before yeah, the before blue, the blue check. Yeah, but before the blue check. You up. got personalities, yeah. like, people that you would actually mess with. Yeah. Like, before now, like, literally, mm -hmm. um, you have all of these now people bought the blue checks. and mm -hmm. But before, like, people could literally, like, you could go to my Instagram back then mm -hmm. and go through all of my followers. And you'd be like, oh, they got a lot of, like, verified. High things. level. Yeah, you know, I get what you're saying. In my that I actually mess with and it's not like on like no like literally like these are people like call checked on me wow see what's up you know okay. what I'm saying like even like when my mom passed away hey Van you good whoop de whoop you know what I'm saying like mm -hmm. you know I even had one dude that literally played in the league literally bought me a birthday gift on my birthday like it's that's, a, a, that's fly yeah like I have a that's a good I have a limited edition Alexander Wayne like jacket that I got gifted for my birthday so I didn't even know that. Let me not embarrass myself <laughs> further. There's some things, man. I, I I'm tracking them. Yeah, but I'm it's different levels to this stuff. It's like a one of one type. Yeah, thing. but it, that's I, I just want to say, like, literally, like building. If you're networking, building connections, build all them different things. Like, I'm not perfect. I'm mm -hmm. not a person that like I struggle with certain things on a daily basis. But uh, I'm not. I'll give you like that exclusive later on, but word, word, I'll word. just say like this. I don't think we want to put that out there. We'll, yeah, we'll, 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 off mic conversation. Yeah, yeah. Off mic conversation. Let's just say like Fashion League styles and how I built it, mm -hmm. you would think like a person that have like a college degree should have built this. Or yeah, you know, like I, there's there's people that man. I know that, there's people that I know that literally sit up there and be like, bro, like you're so good at promotion and media to like Bro, I thought you went to, the, I, went to school I for thought media you marketing was in mar I, I, and marketing but I guess where I really where I learned the marketing thing is from my mom cause my mom mm. like literally like my mom is like was iconic to me like I don't know like my mom literally spent the whole week with Rosa Parks and her family that's interesting so like I have like my mom is the third I think the second or third Black Harris County deputy to work for Houston so really? yeah, so okay. Like, I used to intern with Harris County yeah. CTS, so I'm familiar with like the ecosystem. So mom, That's a big deal. Yeah, so my mom is kind of like legendary and, and big and played a lot of part like through my fashion career because mm -hmm. like she used to always tell me don't go to school for a fashion show. That's exactly what I went to school for, for a fashion show. Like I'm not gonna pass a class, but I'm gonna be fly as hell. Like, you know, <laughs> um, but you turned it into a business, so exactly. I'm and sure she's smiling at you. And the thing about it is, like even like right before she passed, she was like. She's like, you're already famous. Like, you already made it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, my mom already knew, like, I'm going to be bigger than life itself. So, like, that's how mm -hmm. I'm getting now. Like, when people see it now or people, like, try to stop the blessings or even, like, 
you really can't stop what is already like prepared for me. Like I'm already know like I'm gonna be that level. Like I already know. Like, yeah, it's, it's already, I'm going through the yeah. trials, but it's like once I get to that level, like only thing that I like I was just thinking today in the car, like I know one day like I'll have everything that I ever wanted from like the private jets to being able to move with security to be able mm-hmm. to like have probably the baddest girl on my arm to all of that stuff, you know, being able to be with my best friend and we're on yachts all the time and stuff like living the mm-hmm. high life. But I'm like, if I could like give all of that up or give all the success up, like I want to have my mom back. So oh, just, I you see know what I'm saying? saying? But just knowing that these things are going to happen, it's, it's crazy because like even sometimes like I sit down and be like, damn, like mom, like you already knew this was about to happen. Thanks. Like you knew this. Like even like when I was in Vegas and working on the situation I was working on, like even my team talking about like, bro, like, this is normal. Like, mm-hmm. like you know, you have your moments. Like, yeah. I, like I'm not gonna lie, I'm a big crybaby. And like, when ma- major moments happen, I cry. But like, how my team was telling me, like, I'm not. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, look, I'd have been at two weddings with this man, <laughs> <laughs> just randomly at that. <laughs> randomly, I just be like, bro, you do, like you the vibes, like, but and you know, like, yeah, it's, it looks, yes, it's a beautiful moment now. <laughs> We all like, is he okay? Like, Look, he's fine. But yeah, but it's like, you know, it's the moments. And, um, and it's okay. Yeah. It's both of the weddings, like, Bruh. one childhood friend with my best friend, yeah. and then the other one went to private school with. Yeah, it's crazy. But that's even like, and that's the thing, like, I just always, like, even if I have kids, like, I always still into them that networking tool. Right. But I really get it from my mom because. That's all she did was networking and be able to put people in different rooms mm-hmm. or even like even if I make it to the tip of the iceberg and and if I have a, if you're still doing your platform and you might I would hope to, so yeah I would and, hope so unless and, unless my salary is in in jeopardy of this mm-hmm. meaning my bo- my manager leader be like man look is either this kid. or that. Deuces, yeah. <laughs> this will be the last episode of the Young <laughs> Show. If but, he said I got a platform that's gonna elevate, right now I'm cool because yeah. I ain't, I ain't that high up on the chain yet. But if I get to climbing that ladder and they say, but man, I need, but also even with friends too, like oh, I, I try to tell friends, mm-hmm. or even like I'm, I even got my best friend to the moment now. But mm-hmm. I try to tell people all the time, like don't ever set yourself short. Don't oh ever yeah, minimize your Facts. success. And like always speak highly. Like anybody that know me, I agree with that. Anybody that know me, I speak things into the atmosphere, and mm-hmm. everything that's that I've said has basically came true, and that's it's true. still coming true. So like your platform now, like your one, of, your platform is gonna be one of the biggest ones up there with million dollar worth of game. And Man, stuff. like and you gotta you yeah, gotta perceive facts. that. Like I tell my all, myself all the time, like yeah, you got you have Kanye, you got Virgil, you got all of them. They have their own individual mm-hmm. lanes that made them so iconic. When you see Van Styles, you're gonna be like, damn, Van Styles made himself iconic because of the lane that he went into. Yeah. And what he opened up. What he brings to, exactly. to this industry. Because when I get to that level, like, I wanna basically have like my own stylist. Somebody that's coming through, hey, that's, style me. That's important. I I was listening to an interview, or well, it was more like Market Mondays from yeah. uh drawing a blank on the name but essentially they said like they have their platform they have their mentor and now their mentor is charging them to then find someone to be a mentee to like keep the success train going so that's a good point man yeah and the the person that would be styling you would help build the branch to that's fly yeah because i really want to like even start like um i'm gonna try to do it next year for the summer and start a workshop class Hmm. basically for I know a lot of top DJs in the city. I know a lot of top photographers in the city. Mm-hmm. I know all of the situations that's basically that people see as entrepreneurship, mm-hmm. and that's a that's a real craft, and that take talent, mm-hmm. not somebody that's just oh a YouTuber overnight. Copy. I want people that literally oh you're a DJ, you're a photographer, you're um you're up and coming media mm-hmm. outlet that's trying to build a company, yeah, or um you're a cook or something like this. But I know people that's like with high level people mm. or even DJing for like big time artists like Don Tolliver DJ, DJ uh Dr. McDaniels. Okay. Um I started him uh for the Go DJ Hip Hop Awards. I'm cool with him. Like if I go to the club or whatever, I can be in the booth with him, like type stuff. Mm-hmm. Um but like, like that matters to people that aren't like that's it's like being 
in the VIPs VIP. Yeah. Have, it's a different you don't just get to go to those places. Yeah, you don't get to just You don't just walk into places <laughs> like that. Security will greet you with their foot. Exactly. <laughs> so you try to pull up. Like people like up. him that I'll literally say, hey bro, like listen, if I have to pay you mm-hmm. or if not if you just do it off the county as your heart, hey, can you come to the workshop class? And there's people that's gonna like cause I'll sell the like basically yeah you know, I guess talk about we don't like, gotta get to the business home. yeah but mm. I'll basically sell but I, I'm get, tracking yeah to come to the workshop and basically you'll get to meet all of these different people on the panel mm-hmm. and even like it'll be like probably like an hour speaking thing or whatever like that and then afterwards it'll be like okay if you were DJing hey yeah I'll get the network mm-hmm. build a type of team putting the pieces together you know all of these different things because the with me, it wasn't hard. I've never been a shy dude, and I've never been a person that. Like, oh, I know that that, <laughs> the, that story won't ever see the air. Bit. But we was playing paintball, and we just was. Ch- I just pause. Pause, but <laughs> <laughs> look, I ate y'all up on the paintball field. Pause. <laughs> That's another thing, bro. Like I, like, I, I diamond. I listen. I killed y'all. I, there you go. That, let's I killed this. y'all. Let's swing get. The, I'm gonna get in trouble for look, that. Look, 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 but nah, that's great. Yeah. I killed y'all hey, yeah, he cold at paintball. I ain't gonna lie. But with Macho Ball, I held it down. Like I gotta get some dub. Listen, I was the I was the nicest in Macho Ball. Ain't nobody want to see me. All I'm gonna say is Macho. Oh, now you, yeah, now you. No, no, I get. I gave y'all work. Macho Ball, I won. What you talking we about? We played Macho Ball. It was our team. You weren't on our team. We was playing Macho Ball. That's when we, we were just the unlimited. Like, no, I teams. still ate y'all. But, but Macho Ball, our team won. You, you was the last one standing. Okay, yeah. But, but I still but gave y'all won. work. But we won. And even when, listen, but it was one game where I was the last one standing. I got all of y'all out. Did I but not? But it wasn't Macho did Ball. I, did I not? You. How that dude said on the... I gave y'all crazy work. Crazy work. I gave y'all crazy, crazy work. work. Shady McCoy. Did I not? Crazy work. Did I not? Crazy work, yes. Did I yes. not? Every game. Hey, look. I'm going to put it like this. It's a lot of things I don't get passionate about, but when it comes to my dexterity, I don't play about that. Y'all still I may got not be the fastest. Y'all I may still not. Got crazy but I, I'm tough. Y'all still got crazy But I'm work. tough. I, li- I agree. <laughs> only reason, listen, because they're going to be like, how's a black boy so good at paint? The real only reason I'm good at paint- paintball is because I, I'm I'm living in Greenspoint, mm-hmm. moved to the suburbs. My friend had a paintball party in like seventh grade. Mm-hmm. I got hooked on it. Word. So That's what's know, up. It's a different. Wrong it's a that. different exposure. I'd rather be paintball. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah for it was sure. a different exposure. You know, I'm with yeah. white kids playing paintball. Was, and, was, and, I couldn't afford and, it, but that's soft, why. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Why. My dad took me to the academy to get my first, first like paintball. That's gun. what's up. But I have to say, it's not even flaces. It's not nothing. But I have to say, I was fortunate to have parents to be able to become because they was like a blue collar family, mm-hmm. but a high level blue collar family. Yeah, that's that. I got you. So like. A lot of things to me, mm-hmm. it's not exciting because it's like I already did that. Mm. So like in my adult world, it's like stuff that people are already experiencing in their adult world. I was already doing it at 16, 17, 18, 19 God. years old. That plays a factor. You know what I'm saying? Too. Like, like I, to some people that think it's a flex, but to like a to a white person, what like did like 16? You know when mm. my first car was at 16. So two when I was 16, I graduated class 2014. Mm-hmm. 2000 when I was 16 years old mm-hmm. my brand new car was a BMW 128i uh, limited edition and I got it the year it came out oh okay so going to like a, I like but I went to a white school and I was like and I had in my mind like okay I go with all these white kids mm-hmm. I'm gonna show them how black people really can really yeah you holding it down I had it you like know we can we can have we got too. we got money yeah, too. we got well too you, you're not the only one mm-hmm. that can come to this school just That's thinking you like mm-hmm. I can come with the Louis too I can rock the polos mm-hmm. I can wear the Prada like the Prada shoes that everybody rocking now mm-hmm. I got made fun of high school for having those because they're like oh you only bought it no I liked it though yeah you liked it, it just and I was, was already good. on it. Don't ever settle for the word no. No matter how bad the no is, mm. don't. Because even people say I'm a pushy person. I don't give a mm. I'm a pushy person. I don't care. Mm-hmm. The word no, I grew up with not hearing no a lot. So no kind of pissed me off. If you're going to tell me no, t- what's the reason behind the no? And once you tell me the reason behind the no, I'm going to tell you why I should get a yes. There's a yes behind every no. Okay. It's going to take a couple of no's, but don't ever settle for no. That in a situation, it's almost like telling somebody telling you you can't do it. But don't mm. settle for the word no. Mm-hmm. 
don't be scared to just do it. Like, even like that's kind of like kind of corny saying because Nike's slogan is just do it. But don't be scared to just do it. Like, I get you talking a, a about. A lot of people. Don't be scared to fail. Like, or. It's not even a scared to fail situation. A lot of people okay. are just in a situation where they like. Like, you hear people all the time. Oh, I can sing. Oh, I can rap. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know how to start. Or I don't. Girl, you got YouTube to show you how to do the thing. Yeah. You got, you know, all of these different things. But in the situation that I have to say is like. The hardest part is, is to start. Mm -hmm. Once you start, the next hardest part is, is once you get to the middle. You know, like when you do it, when you're reading a book, right? Mm. You get through the first part. You're like, okay, I got through the first part. And then it's like, something happens where you stop reading it. You never get to the beginning, never get to the middle, and you mm. never get to the end. But the cool thing about with entrepreneuring or just even starting something is that it's every journey, it's the journey of behind it. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I think I enjoy more the failing than I actually enjoy more the success part of it. Okay. Because the reason why I say all the failure situations, I can tell you all the failures that I had with Fashion League Styles and then how it eventually became a yes. And you'd be like, bro, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll give, you, I'll give you one for an example. So not this year, but the year last year of mm -hmm. Summer League Styles. Mm -hmm. Like, well, well, uh, yeah, NBA Summer League. Mm -hmm. There's no way I should have pulled out that many interviews without the credentials. Oh, you didn't have the credentials. I didn't have the credentials that year. Okay. I, the year, I didn't have the credentials. There's no way that I should have got Tyler Hero. There's no way that I should have got Precious. There's no way that I should have got all of these different top athletes mm -hmm. on my channel. But I did. Yeah, I I, I, I see that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just really just just having God and just also having a situation that I'm not about to take no. Mm -hmm. I'm not. My situation at the time, even with Fashion League Styles, okay, going through people DMing all of these different athletes, they're not going to see it. Mm -hmm. But if I bring a camera to your face and just say, hey, would you interview for my channel? Da, 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 this is yeah, what I'm doing. Yeah, but you don't got... You got it's not only just a regular camera with you, though, bro. You have, like, your... Y'all, he not walking up with an iPhone. Come correct. Don't set yourself up for failure. But this is... He what, has a, a professional camera but let me say <laughs> set up <laughs> crew. But I'm going to tell you this, though. <laughs> me, uh -huh. I'm the type of person I'm big on quality. Yeah. I'm big on quality. Absolutely. I, I can see. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't call myself Van Styles and not anything I do is moving style. Like, to me, style is like a, it's, it's like a verb. It's like a, it's more, it's an action. It's, mm -hmm. it's more to just like uh -huh. everything that I do is like, like how people are like, oh, that's smooth. With me, it's like, damn, it's Van Styles. You know he going to do it in style every time. That itself sounds stylish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the verbs like it, and the, yeah. You feel me? I, I, like, mm -hmm. you know, it's a style, like, even like, I'm going to say Just the enunciation like, of it, yeah. Yeah, like, I even had, this is kind of just funny, though. But, uh, you know, like, you know how, like, Drake say, like, tinks? Yeah. Like, for females? Yeah. I don't call females, like, females. I call them, like, you know, them, them little styles. Like, you know, this this every, man got the stylets. You feel, the, you, yeah. feel me? Like, you feel me? You know, like every, okay, every, I'll me? pick it up. I'll pick I feel it like up. yeah. If I talk to a female, she got that style. Like she copy. Got now, if I got a girl, she might be a ve because I dropped the B. It's it's, it's level a, it's to a van, it. It's a van style girl, so she it's a, a she level a to it. She a ve. Uh, that a, is she a, that's she different. A that's you different. Feel me? That's different. She not a bass, she a bass. Hey man, this is quality ism right here. <laughs> you are learning something. But every but I'm just saying, like, I'm big on quality and I'm mm. gonna say like this. When I came out the gate and I came out like when I had got my Instagram hacked by my ex at the time and had to restart over Spicy. like Spicy. Restart over like two thousand and like I wanna say like damn near I wanna say probably like eighteen or whatever, I had to start all over. Mm-hmm. Instagram algorithm, whatever. But I was like, I'm I'm new at that point. I didn't want to take no more phone pictures. Mm. So I don't want to take no more phone pictures. Mm -hmm. So then that's when I got with my photographer, Luda. Do you, like anybody that knows me, mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, if I book my flight, I'm booking his flight too. 
That's real. I don't fly nowhere without him. Like he's coming with me. Like That's real. like I pack my draws. I pack. He coming with me. Like I don't. I can't go through. And even if I if I if I can't if he can't come with me mm-hmm. or something, I'm going to either I know somebody in the city or whatever. Oh, I got or you. I'll make a post it's, and be like, hey, up. who's who's the fire photographer out here? Mm-hmm. How could I get that work in? You mm-hmm. feel me? Like everything is content. Mm-hmm. It's how you maximize the content. That's that's fair. I th- that just told me I need to upgrade the quality of my production. Like quality, respect. Yeah, but yeah, I'm saying yeah. like quality is everything. Like you can understand like like Steve Harvey say like once you've been in first class, you always want to go back. Man, this you know what I'm saying. I, f- I feel that. So like it's like every so you got to think about it. Like imagine you remember before you had this mic, you mm-hmm. had another mic, and then now you got this mic. Now it's like damn. Like, imagine if that quality there. So, imagine when you eventually get the big mics and people are moving it and talking with it. Yeah. Then it's like, I'm never going back. Back to... And, it's, and if you go and if you go back, you're going to figure out, okay, let me figure out how, how to make maximize yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, that's even with me. Like... That's poetic, bro. Because, mm-hmm. like, this was... This studio space <laughs> was where I started this show. And to be back here, it was just ironic we're not it's just like it's poetic within itself you know what I'm saying? like for me to be able to record here again with you so my, my biggest thing with people out there is don't don't take the word no okay this might sound aggressive but get out your get off your ass and go do it mm-hmm. like just don't like you gonna hear all the naysayers da, 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 da. once you do it then people gonna get on the bandwagon copy and then when people get on the bandwagon you gotta start separating the people that's really been there since day one into the people that just hopping on. Yeah, I get what you're saying. No, that's, that's a fair assessment. Because, like, now all of a sudden, now everybody, hey, Van, you know, I see, uh. Stop the cap. Don't sit over <laughs> here and talk about, oh, bro, I see you doing your shit. Oh, mm. you have emotion. Like, I heard the best thing that this dude said. You're having, pro- there's a difference between motion and progression. Yeah, 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 for sure. Absolutely. You know, motion mm. is a cool word to say now, but, you know, I'm having progression. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing bigger and better things for my future. Mm-hmm. But I also understand people that are just sitting there like, you can tell like, you if you look at my story, you don't see too many times that me reposting somebody reposting me. I don't, I don't like that either. But, but a lot of people don't repost my work. It's cool. Mm-hmm. But who want to repost a flyer than you on your damn timeline? If, I, if you go to your... I, I do that for certain people. I do that. I don't even. Me, I don't post. I don't me, post other people me, on my page. Like, me, I get what I you're saying. But me in the situation, I don't care about I, yeah, yeah, posting sure. or not. Me, if you know that I mess with you, you are gonna get a like from me. Yeah, if I'm I good, really like I, I you, follow you. I'm gonna comment. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you that I'm engaged. Yeah, I'm in supporting what you're doing. Cause like, like, like when I had texted you at like 11:30, saying I just finished the episode, like it was great. And See, then I called, I, and I me, called, and was like, hey, "This is good. Like, keep going." I like me. I appreciate people that call me, yeah. then DM me. Because uh, if you DM me, you got my number. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah for sure. But you it was more saying? so like the interaction but before yeah. we got here was just like, hey, some of these stuff I didn't know you was doing that. That's dope. Keep going. Like or the support level behind. And it. that's some of the part two documentary that was from last year. Hmm. I had no idea. And it's so crazy because the stuff that happened last year, there's so much to that documentary that didn't even drop. Hmm. The exclusive warning. It's 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 exclusive. It's just so exclusive. No, nah, I'm tracking. It's exclusive that it probably it probably have you banned. Sure. It probably have you banned from the league. But uh, well, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do we that. We don't want to. But do that. that's a that that's a part title within itself. That part will come out once I'm totally established. Copy for sure. Like we got we got some stuff like that's that's <laughs> we we got stuff that we working on, bro. Like it's just it's major and it's crazy because like when, even when I look at myself now. Mm. And being able to be put in this position, like, to be to be 27, mm-hmm. knowing by the time I'm going to hit 30, I'll be a multimillionaire. Hmm. But just knowing, like, where I started at, where I'm going, how it's going, from the sleepless nights mm-hmm. to times, like, maybe got $5 in my pocket. You know, there's different things that a lot of people don't know that I, I sacrifice just to be a fly dude. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you hear, oh, black people go broke for some J's or something. 
you don't understand I go broke over this fashion thing it's right. more than just me just looking fly it's more than me just staying I'm on top of the trend this mm -hmm. is who I am this is how I breathe this is how I live mm -hmm. I eat, live, sleep breathe fashion like, that's it that's the only thing I know that's the only thing like I've so fascinated my, my life with mm -hmm. there's nothing else you know like a lot of people be like oh like how come you don't know all about these designers all this I don't care about all of them I don't care about what they're doing. I don't care about them this is them situations or whatever because they wasn't so major that they made an impact in my life. Like Ralph Lauren made an impact in my life. Mm -hmm. Dapper Dan made an impact in my life. Even I have to say, I even give credit to Rich God that's out there that a lot of people know. Like him coming up on social media impacted my life in a mm -hmm. certain type of way as far as the fashion culture. Um those people have made impacts in my life to where I wanted to know about them and who would they who they are mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying to play it in my th situation so we and then even I have to say um uh what's his name uh Fonsworth Bentley that that that's a fly brother so right there man to be, so Dead. so I'm gonna say this and then once I say this then you can close it however you want to close it don't tell me. Okay, I'm going to listen. But this is what I'm going to say. So, Farnworth Bentley, right? Mm -hmm. That is exactly the lane I'm trying to go into. Okay. That is exactly the person yeah. that I'm trying to not imitate, but that has inspired me. Uh -huh. But in the situation of... Only way you know about Farnworth Bentley is if you was during that time yeah, of growing you, up and yeah, in that you, situation. Yeah. But... I want to be the Farnsworth Bentleys of this generation, but keep being legacy. That's why. Because Farnsworth Bentley, no disrespect, kind of ran out. Yeah, he. It's he, not. He it's, took, you he, know what he, I'm saying? He fell off the scene on See, purpose. purpose. He intentionally yeah. walked away from But him. I want to be in a situation where I stayed on the whole situation. That's that's motion. That's you know what I'm saying? That's whatever you want to call. That's whatever you want to call even, it. Like, because even if you look at Farnsworth Bentley, like he still fly. Like, but if, if, if you, but if you look good. back at his resume and he tells you. He figured out how to way to get in P. Diddy's eyes. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know. I will rebound the basketball at 6 a.m. in the morning just to talk to NBA players and created my own way of interning for them. Wow. I was up at 6 a.m. I, I was up at 6 a.m. in the morning at U of H rebounding basketballs. Hmm. To be able to be in a room with people that played in the league. Mm -hmm. Not knowing how it's going to go. Mm -hmm. But me just being in that that space or just talking to him and all of this stuff mm -hmm. like I already had a goal like I was going to go to the NBA but this was my way to get in yeah, there yeah you, you I didn't have like yeah. me compared to you gotta think about it they playing against millions of people against the world mm -hmm. but my outfit that I can style somebody that's in the tunnel that's gonna be seen by millions and guess what happens get seen by millions people gonna get inspired and be like damn Whoop de whoop, wore yeah. that on the run. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna be the first stylist that people gonna be like face it's a, to name. Yeah, it's a it's a van style. It's situation. a van like that was yeah. a van style was a van style. Look, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That that's not that same. I'm gonna be coming up with the name one percent. We go we go <laughs> we can come with that. I gotta hey, do business while business is being done. We but go, let me but let me ask you. Yeah, though, what's up? Like even this is just being real though. Okay. Other than me, how many stylists do you know? Not even know, but how many stylists do you could just say, oh, I know a stylist, or I just know this is a stylist? Um, or even really knew what a stylist was? I would say the outside of uh, Austin, just because that's your boy. Mm -hmm. The only person. He's not even a stylist. But, but a just more yeah, so yeah. like, yeah, and, and even in that, see, I would be wrong in that. I got to give my, my brother some credit. My brother is probably the closest to a stylist. Uh, I don't even know what his his Montclair now name is what he going by, but my sibling, my my brother, is probably the only other stylist that I know because he fly he the fly one of the family. But but, but just more so like I'm that's saying, my sibling, but, but he's not doing it professionally. But I'm saying though. though, like, but you're the only one that I know. Like, let me. But be you clear. gotta think about it. When I came out being a stylist in like 15, 16, right? Mm -hmm. Like nobody knew. What a stylist was in Texas. I saw the rap. Yeah, I saw the, like what rappers were saying stuff. No, I'm, I'm like trying. nobody knew in Texas. You I'm know trying. how many times like people be like, "What you do? I'm a personal stylist." Oh, you style hair? No, uh, I, I get dress what you're somebody. I get what you're saying. And then they're like, they hire you to dress them, and I'd be like, "So if you was famous, you can go to the mall." 
No, that's, that's a fair assessment. I'm, hey, I follow you. I completely understand. So, my situation, like, everybody that follows me now, like, mm-hmm. and see what I do, you're now understanding a stylist situation. Yeah. But I want people to understand and appreciate the people that style us. Because I want to give my flowers to all of the stylists that does not get their flowers. That's real. That's my. I want to give them their time to shine. That's why I created Fashion League Styles. It's for the It's athlete. a collective. It's, it's not just a one yeah. lane. It's like a, I want other like like a couple of interviews that y'all gonna see that's coming up. Mm-hmm. Man, I, I interview like three, four stylists that's actually stylists that's gonna be on the that we about to release pretty soon. That's why you know a couple of designers too that's out there. So like I want to get these uh like one I'll give y'all a gym. So uh Vando CP LeBron this guy mm-hmm. he's like a stylist in the sense but he's like a media kind of corresponding guy. I interviewed him like to be able to interview him that's like with LeBron all of these high dudes. Mm. I was like, "Bro, you a dude that should have your flowers." Mm. Like not many people know about you. You're verified and stuff, but like man, like you That's know, real. You're a quiet spoken person, but you know, I feel the world should know you're that guy. You know, you you're the one that's creating all these looks that and, and you know, you're not nobody just say, Hey bro, like you really created that look. Like these dudes are not doing it by themselves. They got a team. Mm. They got a team. Like I just say anything that you do, any any that also to any people that start in this pose situation, if you have a team, keep your team. Love. You have to have a team to do this. Nothing. Like that's... Van Styles is not like my team. So it's Van. Mm-hmm. The team is the Styles. That's what makes this thing goes. Mm-hmm. This what this is what makes me be in Van Styles. Like without them, like I couldn't do none of this stuff, bro. I couldn't move. I couldn't. I couldn't. Like they're just like mm-hmm. they're. I'm the head, but they're the neck that supports everything that gotcha. keeps it swiveling. You know. Man, it's gonna be hard to. I don't know how to. I don't know how to end this, man. Just this, so many gyms, so much free <laughs> game, support, motivation, entrepreneurship. The list go on and on, but Van Styles, ladies and gentlemen, it's, yes, it's a real one, man. Me. Check them out.